Hello, hello, Mario's back today with a new video. I hope you are happy, strong and healthy. Today I'd like to talk about the magnetic pole, the, the way the magnetic pole is moving and wandering around makes a lot of people worrying about a possible pole flip. And I'd like to talk about uh, the possibility that such a pole flip could occur and how serious this is, of course. Should we be worried about uh, terrible events and catastrophes? What many of you might know is this map of the North Pole. And you'll see um, in deep purple, <laughs> deep purple, in deep purple you'll see uh, the pole starts to run sort of dark pink. And then you see 1904. 1994, 2007, and the green dot where it is supposed to be now. And this galloping of the North Pole lately has worried a lot of people. Navigation systems had to be adjusted because of this uh, large movements. That's not something new that uh, navigation systems have to be adapted to changes of the magnetic pole movements. So you see from uh, somewhere around 1994, the magnetic pole starts to run and then from 2001 it starts to run and keeps on running until 2007 and then it starts to run slower on this map you see this clearly as well magnetic polar movement is slowing down so that is a sign of calming down of uh, the movements i would like to take you to this map this is a scientific research done by two guys with a difficult name. I always have to look it up. They are called McElhinney and McFadden. And this is a research done in 2000. Very well done research. So this is my basis of the pole movements over the last 4,000 years. Why do I show this map? Because this is, let's say, the, the zone in which the magnetic pole um, has moved and will move in the future as well. But when magnetic pole movements start to walk outside of these boundaries, we really need to be worried. Only then you need to be worried. But because it is still within this area, our current pole position, I would say, and it is also slowing down, I wouldn't be so worried. It's just the natural movements of the magnetic pole, nothing special. And I now take you to Antarctica. The same is visible here in blue, a uh, starting position of the magnetic pole around the year 1600. Then it slowly moves to purple, to dark pink, to orange and to the green dot where the pole is now. Somewhere around 2000 the movement is making a turn. There is no research uh, done to the magnetic south pole by uh, McElhinney and McFadden. So I have no data on this, but I suspect it is approximately the same. So um, what I mean with the same is that current um, magnetic pole uh, movements is still within uh, historical boundaries. Somewhere around uh, mid 90s, um, pole starts to make a bend and I suspect it will start to bend within a few years again. So it might return back to the Antarctic continent. But if I look at this, um, what we saw at the North Pole, we saw the walking of the North Pole, magnetic North Pole, and then the running of the magnetic pole to North Pole, and then suddenly it started to slow down. But it is not what we see on the South Pole. It started to run somewhere in the mid-90s, and it is still running today. So I cannot say with certainty what, the, what this means. I suspect it will slow down. Should we be worried about an uh, upcoming magnetic pole shift? As you might know, our, our research is mainly about uh, crustal deformations and the subsequent um, geographic pole shifts. But this is, of course, about a magnetic pole shift. I plotted all positions of the magnetic North Pole from 1900 up to 2020. The distance over which the magnetic North Pole moved between 1995 to 2000 is around 150 miles. Then it started to run even faster from 2000 to 2005, about 175 miles. But then 
it suddenly started to slow down from 2010 to 2015 it is only 135 miles between 2015 and 2020 only 130 miles so so this movement of the magnetic pole is slowing down and that is a sign of possible bend or change in direction back to Canada so it might uh, make a bend very soon for this data I use uh, the website of the Kyoto University they have a very good website with uh, clear positions of uh, the magnetic north and south pole they have very good data on the magnetic field strength which is declining another thing that is worrying a lot of people is the decline in magnetic field strength it would be strange if the magnetic field strength would be uh, exactly the same over the years so it is climbing and it is falling down again so it's uh, like a sinus everything vibrates everything changes so the magnetic field strength as well it's logical it doesn't mean it will drop immediately to zero and we need to dig shelters and uh, prepare ourselves and another thing is that many theorists who say um, magnetic field flips every 12,000 years or so they do not base their ideas on scientific data but there is a lot of controversy in paleomagnetism so between the geologists themselves there is a lot of controversy when exactly did the last pole flip occur one of the best books about paleomagnetism is written by Robert F Butler in 2004 it is not easy to read but if you if you manage to work your way through this book and try to understand what he is saying will become more clear what um, what it actually means this uh, magnetic pole flip and movements over the history of the earth um, because he's very clear about uh, one thing there is not common ground among geologists about the last pole flip there's even not a common ground about the alleged pole flip some 720,000 years ago but there are also geologists who say um, no there is a lot of contradictory data still in this data set so we don't we do not agree with this uh, 720,000 years ago so there is no unanimous agreement among the scientists this book of Robert F Butler is called magnetic domains to geologic terrains and he is from the University of Portland if you carefully read it you will understand what enormous errors are built up in this terrain because it goes from chemical discipline to a mathematical terrain but on the way from all these steps from alignment of magnetized rock along the collection of all this data to a point cloud of data towards suspected former pole position it is a long way full of controversy and errors it's certainly not a done deal that there is such a, a thing as a pole flip or there is such a thing as polar flips over the last million years it is certainly not a done deal and if you read this book of Butler with one thing in mind if you look at the isochrons of the ocean floor you will see that this map of isochrons of the ocean floor shows how once uh, South America and Africa fitted together but if you look at the other side in the Pacific you also must do the same thing and if you do this you will find out that the earth was much smaller than today this is the only clear conclusion you can draw because the growing earth the expanding earth is a fact but if you neglect this this fact when examining magnetic data you will find out that this influences uh, the polar movements the uh, alleged magnetic polar movements so if you uh, take a whole other road okay I accept that the earth has expanded and if you look then to all the data of the magnetic rock you will find out that the pole has never flipped over you will find out that this pole flip movements result in a totally different pattern than if you totally neglect the expanding earth and but it is such a complicated terrain 
that we are now trying to make a, a, a model of this all together but it is <laughs> it is terribly difficult let's go back to the initial question will there be a pole flip uh, i think no we will not see this process of pole flip happening in our lifetime and maybe it will never happen but the expanding earth and the migrating geographic north pole is a fact the next expansion cycle and the next north pole migration cycle might be coming in a few thousand years we should be worried about uh, other things really like political instability and uh, our behavior as humans in our natural environment make a better world for not only us ourselves but also for our children and the animals and the plants that live on this world as well no panic for pole shifts you will see that this polar movement will be in an area where it always has been because the core that creates this magnetic field is much much heavier than the crust the crust is just one percent of the weight of the whole earth and this core that creates this magnetic field is many many times heavier so there's no reason to suspect there will be immense flips and changes or even uh, a reverse in rotation of the earth as some theorists believe don't worry be happy take care of your uh, direct environment take care of the world take care of other people be kind be loving thank you and bye bye